Hello besties. Welcome to my Minnesota thrift trip haul. Um, I spent probably about 12 hours over the course of two days thrifting and eight hours driving. Um, and I got some good stuff. So here we go. Let's just jump in. Okay, first stop of my trip was the Chaska Goodwill Outlet. That one is usually my favorite. I got a lot of stuff there. Um, it's funny because I saw Jack Valentine there and I didn't say anything. <laughs> Sometimes people will DM me on Instagram and be like, oh my gosh, I saw you out thrifting, but I didn't say anything. And I'm like, oh, why not? Like, I promise I'm not scary. Um, but then I do the exact same thing when I like see people who have more followers than me. Anyways, um, at this store, I picked up a lot of stuff that I can take to the consignment store because I'm wanting to focus more on that moving forward. Um, did some, I guess you would call it like a trial period test run with them in the fall. And I was like, you know, I think Ben's items there are worth it. Anything else? Maybe not. Maybe like cheap garage sale stuff, but picked up a few things. Um, men's athletic wear is one of the things that I was told does really well there. And that seemed true from what I've sold. So picked up some Adidas sweatpants. These are a small. This Nike running vest. This is also a small. I don't know if this is men's or women's. It did have a stain on it or like it was just kind of dirty. But I've sold the Nike running, Nike running vest before and it did really well. So excited for that. Um, this is just American Eagle, but it's this cute little like crocheted halter top. I was like, this would be so cute for summer. This is a small. Might end up at Plato's Closet if it doesn't sell, but we'll see. These champion sweat shorts medium. Um, if you've been on TikTok, like sweat shorts are having a moment. So I've been picking them up. Also, the consignment store said that Altered State does really well. So I picked this up. This is a medium. I was like, this is so cute. I would wear this. Um, the regular Goodwill price is at $8.99. I would never pay that much, but... Hopefully someone at the consignment store will. And then this lush top, this is medium. Kind of regret this one, but it's too late now. Um, Wild Fable, this is a small, look how cute this sundress is. There is so much Target stuff at all of the Minnesota Goodwills because Target is based out of Minnesota. And so there's a Target on like every corner, not really, but there's so many. So like a lot of people are shopping there. A lot of people then like donate their stuff. Um, so there are tons of Target brands there everywhere. Um, oh, this cute little Banana Republic halter top. Let me snap this together. Okay, so it goes like that and it's got a little keyhole in the front. This is new with tags, size small, originally $40. I was like, this is so cute and it's like pretty thick. This Abercrombie & Fitch bodysuit, like ties in the front, cut out in the back, size medium. I was like, that's super cute. Abercrombie and Fitch is doing really well. Um, a Nike hoodie, the Thermofit ones, which are like this fleecy material, or maybe this one's not actually Thermofit. Um, those have been doing pretty well for me. This one needs washed, but looking good. I got this center swoosh Nike hoodie. These are really good to keep an eye out for. Um, I can't think of who it was. Some rapper wore one and <laughs> how they're like popular. Um, this is an extra small, but I was like, hey, the t-shirt pros didn't get that. I did. A Nike kids hoodie. This is a medium. It's like a fleece. That will go to the consignment store. This Nike hoodie. This one's a boys XL. This will also go to the consignment store. Um, I don't sell a ton of kids stuff personally, but it seems like it's worth it consigning it. Um, especially at the bins, it's pretty lightweight, but when I sell it, it's never for more than like $10. So I'm like, mm, is this really worth my time? This Adidas hoodie, this is also a child's large. This is in good condition. Like I overheard a mom one time at a thrift store and she was like, it's so hard to find like boys pants at thrift stores because boys are like so rough on the knees and like they rip. Um, so I'm like, okay, you need to keep out an eye for like boy stuff. Like that's what moms are trying to buy. Another Nike hoodie. This one's a Thermofit. This is medium. Um, this like Thermofit, like fleecy material. I've been getting like a decent, like 20 bucks 
pretty fast on these. Um, I think they're good for winter just because they're like thicker than the other stuff. This Athleta Girls Sports Bra, this is a girl's large. I don't know if I'm going to consign this or just try to sell it myself, but it's in good shape. Then I got, um, so in my vlog, I was like looking through a bin and there were these two women next to me and they were apparently finding a bunch of Lululemon and one of them turned to the other and she's like, oh, did you get all the Lululemon from there? And her friend was like, oh yeah, whatever. Um, but I had been right next to them. So I managed to snag a couple pieces. I got this high neck sports bra cut out in the back. This is a size small. And then there were a ton of jeans. These are Adriano Goldschmied, the Harper Essential Straight Jeans. Did I mean to throw these back? I might have. Whoops. I did get these Target jeans mostly for myself. These are the Vintage Street, but they're like embroidered with all these flowers. And I'm like, that's so cute. I'm gonna try those on. And if not, I'll take them to Plato's Closet. Okay, and this is a bolo. I looked this up. This is my beachy side for Emily in Paris this little sailboat dress. When I first picked this up out of the bin, I didn't check comps. Um, and then because I was like, oh, Emily in Paris, like that's kind of new. So there's probably not a ton on resale sites, but apparently like this is good money. So very excited for this. And obviously it's one of those things that like other people just like looked over. And then also new to me, this is Oliphant, Oliphant, size medium. Just this cute little like plaid dress um size medium cute for spring and then also for consignment this legendary white tails this is like a men's hoodie it's a 5xl um and i've sold this brand before just like a regular like hunting coat and it did pretty well i think 5xl is also a very hard size to find so i'm expecting that to do decent okay then got this lulu's size small wrap dress I was like, this is cute. Picked up this also altered state dress, size small. I was like, this is cute for spring. Then this Target, a new day vest. This is an extra small, but it seems like a medium. I might wear it. <laughs> and then these Zara paper bag jeans. These are a size zero. This I bought based on style. Look how cute this like polka dot velvet sheer top is. This is Christopher and Banks. It's a large, um, but I was like, okay, also this is gonna be really lightweight, so cheap. Then I got this airy top, extra small in stores. This was $7. I'm just so cheap. I'm like not willing to pay that anymore. This Nike tank top, this is a medium. I've sold that style a couple times. Okay, then got this cute little Paxon corduroy dress. This is a large. Picked up this American Eagle plaid shirt. This is a large. I think this is men's, so this might go to Plato's closet. Another Madewell texture and thread top. Extra small. This one ties on the side. This is John and Jen which is an anthropology brand. This was $11 in stores and no one bought it. But I was like, it's a cozy sweater. I will take it. And then this is Topshop new with tags. And I looked at this and I was like trying to figure out how the shirt goes. Um, It's not a shirt, it's a wrap skirt. <laughs> anyway, super cute. If you couldn't tell, this was like a pretty long stop at this Goodwill. Um, first up, this Abercrombie and Fitch off the shoulder dress, new with tag size medium. These American Eagle, these are size four. These are like cargo jogger jeans. I don't even know, but I was like, those look cute. Then I got, oh, rag and bone jeans for literally the first time in my life. These are the 10 inch flare. These are size 27. That's like cute. This is the Lululemon tank top I got, muscle tank. I saw the same one like tie dye a couple weeks ago. I got this Vans men's medium snap jacket. 
Again, probably for Plato's Closet. This Ann Taylor size medium top. This might be consignment. These Yogalicious shorts. These might be for me. I love Yogalicious. They're just like a Lululemon dupe. Dupe. Um, so yeah, I pick them up. They're not great like resale though. And then this Spider men's small jacket. Picked up this Eloquy Nua Tags blazer. This is a size 18. Cute little like three quarter length sleeve. This Madewell top, this was super cute size small. This was again on top of a bin and I was like, am I missing some flaw? Like did someone throw this back? And then this Free People hoodie, it is missing the zipper pull. And I was in there trying to like get this to move up and down. And I was like, oh, I'll just figure it out when I get home. But now I'm home and <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I may have messed up by picking this up, but I might try to thread something through and then pull it down. So this is a size small. This Adidas shirt, size small. Again, probably Play-Dohs or consignment. Oh, this is cute. This is high five, I think is how that's pronounced. It's large. Just this cute little like tiered dress snaps down the front. And then lastly, these Rock Revival jeans. They do have a little stain on the knee, but I was like, I'm gonna try to get it out, size 26. Um, so yeah, that was, that was just one stop. Um, I spent $68 there. So pretty, pretty good start to the trip, but I did find some better stuff. Okay, and when I was there, my plan this time was to mostly go to Goodwill Outlets or just pay by the pound because I got laid off. I'm trying to save some money and I can just get more items there. But I did go <clears throat> to a couple regular Goodwills. So at this one, I found this cute little matching set. This brand is Sincerely Jewels for Bandier, I think is how it is, or Bandier. I think it's Bandier. Um, I was like, this is so cute. Definitely worth it. Checked comps and they looked good. I found this Princess Polly dress new with tags. This is the Natalina mini dress, size six. Comps also looked good. I picked up this Lovers and Friends top. So this was $3.99. It does have this faint yellow stain over here. So I like, I like picked it up. I saw the stain. I put it back. I like walked down the rack a little bit farther and I was like, it's only $3.99, like I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna try to get the stain out. So I was like, this is really cute. Also, like I think someone's hair could hide that, honestly. And then got this Princess Polly top. This lace is up in the back. This is a six. There was another Princess Polly like one sleeve black top. And I was like, oh, this is really cute. And I put it in my cart and I looked at comps and it's selling for like, 10 to 15 dollars on Poshmark like it's way oversaturated so I put that one back but this princess play top look good and then this is free people movement I want to say this is a small just this cute little waffle knit it's got these like details on the sleeve and then it like buttons in the back here I was like that's so cute um so at this stop I spent 36 dollars which honestly was like for only this <laughs> like their prices are high there was a couple things that I looked at and ended up putting back. This couple was so big and it was like empty. Um, this was in Findlay? Fridley? Fridley. Um, anyways. Okay, so I think last year when I was going to Minnesota, one of my followers DM'd me and she was like, hey, there's this really great thrift store. Um, it's my honey hole, so like don't tell anyone about it, but like you should go since you're gonna be in town. And I was like, that is perfect. I won't tell anyone. And I'm not telling you guys. Um, so this is a pretty big deal for me because I cannot keep my mouth shut about anything. So if you ever see that I'm going thrifting in your area and you want to share your honey hole with me, feel free. I, Scout's Honor, will not tell anyone. I was never a Girl Scout. I don't know if that means anything. But <laughs> this store is kind of hit or miss for me. It's a lot more chill than other places, as in I don't see very many resellers there. Um, but I checked it out, so. First up, this is Quicksilver Men's kind of like hooded fleece. Um, I thought that was cute. Would love to give it to one of my brothers. However, 
I'm looking to make some money. I think I'm going to take that to Plato's Closet or Stuff Etc. Consignment. Um, same with this men's athletic shirts do pretty well there. Um, at the consignment store, this is a men's medium. I think part of the reason why men's consignment does better is because with women, like trends are changing so fast that like we buy new clothes all the time. Whereas for men, like they don't do that as much. Um, so obviously there's not as much of that second hand, let alone in good condition. So seems like worth picking up. Um, this Lululemon sweatshirt does not have a size on it. It does have a, a stain on the front. I'm gonna try to get that out. It seems crusty, um, which like crusty stains, like sometimes those come out. So stay tuned, we'll see. These like silky pajama pants for myself. I shouldn't have been buying anything for myself just because like mm, I'm unemployed, but you know, sometimes I can't help myself. This Gymshark tank top, like sitting on top of a bin, like laid out perfectly. Someone was like, girl, we want you to find this. Um, maybe not like the cutest. It's kind of like the Lululemon Swiftly. Don't know how the ombre will do, but picked it up. This also, I don't know this brand, Wild Honey. It's just like this sheer top, ties in the front. I was like, that's cute. I'm sure some sorority girl would love that. This Madewell sweater, size small, and then some bralettes. This one's free people. This one is in spectacular condition. Again, just like sitting on top of a bin. Like there were no, or like the resellers, the resellers that I did see there were like t-shirt bros. And so obviously they were not going for the same kind of stuff as me. Um, and then a black airy bralette. I like picking up bralettes at the bins because they're so cheap. So like if I get $5 out of them, like perfect. That pays for half my lunch. Um, these are H&M mom jeans. I'm going to try them on because I've been looking for a pair of jeans that are like straight leg high waisted, but are not distressed. I have so many distressed pairs of jeans and I love them, but sometimes like I don't want to wear distressed jeans. So this is Grayson Threads, which again is maybe not spectacular, but it's plus size. So I'm going to try that out at Plato's Closet. This vintage Honor sweater, made in USA, size large. Grandpa sweaters usually are a good 20 to 30 bucks for me. Okay, this is super cute this green long dress with like a slit in the leg, I think. Um, the brand is in fact Charlotte Rose. Um, but I was like, I think this is so cute that like some sorority girl needing like a cheap dress for formal come my way. Also, I think I would look really good in it. So if anyone needs to invite me to a wedding anytime soon, please do. Um, men's Carhartt shirt, this is an XL tall. They have this price for $7 in store. I would not have bought it at that price, but this was paid by the pound, so very cheap. Then Kendall and Kylie. Again, probably not something I would have picked up if it was like more than $3, but I'm gonna take that to Plato's Closet. We've got some men's REI joggers. Or, yeah, they're joggers. Um, organic cotton. I think I'm gonna sell these. I did think about consigning them, but I think it's gonna be more worth it for me to just sell them. And then this Gap top, again, they had this price at $7. Like who's gonna pay that? But I was like, this is really cute. I may need to wear it for an interview. This is American Eagle size small. I was like, okay, just like cute little romper for summer. This Old Navy sports top with the built-in bra. This is a size large. I don't normally pick up a lot of Old Navy, but I know these athletic tops have been really popular, so thought I'd give it a shot. Oh, this baby Harley Davidson hoodie. This is a size 2T, super cute. And then this is BDG, which is Urban Outfitters, extra small. This is so tiny. Again, probably a Plato's Closet item. And this was like the first thing I picked up. The sleeves are inside out, but this is Anthropology Saturday, Sunday just like basic sweater top, but so soft. Oh, look at how cute the sleeves are. So at that stop, I paid $22.68. Um, so lots of good stuff. I'm hoping that 
consignment in Plato's Closet will pay for that right away and then the things I make on top of that from all the other sales will be perfect. Started out day two at the Brooklyn Park bins. I I thought they opened at eight and then before I left my hotel I checked Google Maps because that's usually correct and it said nine and I was like oh dang it. Um, and I was like, well, I'll just get there a little early then. And I got there at like 8.30 and there was no line outside, but there were all these cars. And then, I, and then it did open at eight. And I was like, ah, dang it. But still found a lot of good stuff. Starting out, we have this Urban Outfitters like maxi dress, super cute for summer. Um, I was a little unsure of this, but I got it because it's a sat. It's Wild Fox, this like purple stars print, size large. And then this nasty gal dress, this is a size 10. It has this like slit in the leg. It's this really dark purple, like almost black or brown. And then it like ties at the back of the neck. picked up these Zaya purple leggings. I don't pick up cropped leggings very much at all, um, but since it was the bins I did, these are size 12. Got this Nike men's quarter zip. This is Nike golf. It's like fleece on the inside. It's an XL. I found like three shackets while I was there. Um, not great brands. This is La Miel, which is like a boutique brand, but this looks pretty good. And shackets are really in right now. This top, I actually have this for sale in a different color. This is the Post Stamp, I want to say it's the brand. I always forget, like it looks like a stamp, but anyways, just this little gray, kind of like peplum sweater top. This is a medium. The other one I have is like a pink color. Um, this, I don't even know this brand. This is Daisy. This feels like, it's probably like cheap, but I got it because it was brown argyle and it looks like the Taylor Swift All Too Well sweater. So if anyone's needing some Taylor Swift vibes, let me know. That's a large. I picked up these Nike men's XL. These are like slick, like track pants. I've sold a couple like this before. Like they've done decently well for me. This altered state sweater, new with tags. This is, I want to say... Oh, this is a medium. Cute. Here is one of the other shackets. This one's bucket list. This one's like cropped. And honestly, it kind of looks like it's inside out, but the pockets are where they should be. Okay, and then I did find Patagonia. Um, it's just this like women's cardigan sweater, but it's Patagonia, so I still picked it up. This is a large this anthropology this is tiny brand this is a small just like a little button-down shirt picked up this jacket this is 911 sportswear this is a large i just felt like this was a cute color combo and it's in really good shape so even though i don't recognize the brand still pick up a lot of stuff for style <laughs> then this jacket this is sincerely jewels again kind of like a tan color size small Oh, this Madewell swimsuit, like this one piece. It is new with tags. This is a large. Still has the liner attached. Um, it does not have padding, but it has like underwire. Actually, no, it's not underwire. It's like not underwire, but it looks like it has underwire. Then I picked up this I Am Unwell. <clears throat> this is from a podcast called Her Daddy. And I had seen Sam pick up one of these. Um, a couple weeks ago in a different color and I picked this one up and then I was like let me check comps someone sold this for like $25 like the day before so I was like okay definitely worth it so looking good there this Nike like baseball tee size large this is um John Galt which I'm trying to the name escapes me now of where this brand is sold but it's just this Los Angeles California hoodie um, I thought this would be good for like Plato's Closet. Men's Nike shirt, large. This is for consignment. American Eagle, high rise, vintage high rise festival shorts. They're not actually vintage, that's just the style name. These are size four and button fly, so that's good. I feel like in the past I sold a lot of American Eagle shorts in the summer 
This past summer, not as many, but I think if they're cheap enough, I'll still continue to pick them up. I think they will still sell. Um, then I got these made, made well high rise, and I'm sure it's these are a 25. I've never seen made well shorts before. Okay, I did pick up this baby NFL Vikings jersey because it's in good shape and pretty light. I know that football season is about to be over, but I think someone will still like it. And then this very complicated athletic tank top. Okay, here we go. And then it, it's just like open in the back where you could tie it up. This is a medium. Got some more Adidas joggers. These are size small. I got these. These are like the tiniest Lululemon shorts ever. I'm sure this inseam is like an inch, but I think like they're probably for like dancers. Um, they're size two. Oh, got this Adidas hoodie. This one's super cute. Um, this is a medium. I'll probably list that one myself. It does need a little shaving on the arms, but okay. This, if you see me wearing this, don't be surprised. <laughs> this is an L.L. Bean corduroy, um, just like button down shirt. It does have like a crusty stain on the back somewhere, but I think that'll come out when it gets washed. Um, I have a party this weekend, a friend's birthday party, and the theme was you all have to dress in like a single color. So she was like, everyone called dibs on your color and I chose pink, so I'm gonna wear that. And then I have like pink leggings. And then, okay, I might also wear this to a party this weekend. I have two parties this weekend, who am I? Um, this brand is and now this, which I don't think is anything good, but just this cute little like leather jacket. Um, this is a maybe, I gotta try it on. And this, I looked at this in the bin, I was like, oh my gosh, I recognize this. It is the Free People BFF sweater. I've There's like a kind of like orange pink color that I've sold twice before. Um, this one's a small. And then lastly, just two bralettes. This is Victoria's Secret, just like a maroon. And then another Free People, this one is a large. So at this stop, I paid $49.75. So the first time I went to the store, I saw these Love Shack fancy Target dresses for $20 each. They were all new with tags. And I looked at comps and comps were just way all over the place. And I was like, you know, I don't think I'm going to do it. And I went back to my hotel room that night and I was like, mm, I kind of regret that. Looked into comps a bit more um, and decided to go back the next day because it was on my route home. So stopped and picked up a few. Um, I got a few different sizes. So this one is a 16. <laughs> and I'll just like put stock photos up because yeah, it's gonna be really hard for me to show the full thing. Um, anyways, this is a maxi dress size 16. This one was originally $60. Um, and one thing I posted on my Instagram of like, oh, should I go back? And someone said that they bought these dresses online and like the material was really cheap. And like on this one, I can see how like it's kind of thin on top or like if you didn't wear the right bra or underwear, like it would show through. But the other ones are a bit thicker. Um, this one is a size 18W, cute little smocked eyelet. I was like, this might be, if someone needs like a bridal dress this summer, this one also originally $60. And when I was checking comps, I was looking at new with tags and specific sizes because there were a ton of plus sizes at this store. Um, some of the dresses though, didn't seem like super popular um, compared to others. There were mini dresses too. I stayed away from those. Um, this one is a medium, a cute little smocked on the top. This one was originally also 60. I'm sure the lady who was checking me out like saw these sizes and was like, mm, okay. Um, and then this one's an extra small. It does have straps. But I was like, oh, this is cute. This would be so cute for like a picnic. $55 extra small. Um, it has a tie. This tie, I need to look at stock photos. It's like a different color, but it's like the same material. Or maybe it is a different material. I don't know. I think it'd be cute without a belt if that is not the right belt, but that was that stop. Okay. Went back to my special secret thrift store that 
one of my Instagram influencers told me about. She said, this spot's really good. It's my honey hole, don't share it. So I'm going to tell you where it is. But it honestly wasn't that great. So you maybe don't really care that it's her honey hole. Um, picked up this leather jacket. This is a large, but it's got this fringe on it that I thought was really cute. And then it like laces and ties on the side. And I was like, this is so heavy. Like, is it going to be worth it? And so before I checked out, I asked the cashier, I was like, can I just put this on the scale and weigh it? And that was like three or four pounds. So I did the math. I was like, okay, that's not too bad. Um, I think the price per pound here was $1.89. And then I only picked up a few other things there. I got these like mint green Lululemon speed shorts. These are four. They do need washed. Um, just this Urban Outfitters top. This is a small. This is probably going to be a Play-Doh's closet item. And then this Madewell texture and thread top. Size small. Um, my total for all of that was $7.56. So worth it. Um... <laughs> like that jacket at a normal goodwill here would have been like eight to twelve dollars so paying seven dollars for all of that worth it okay and on my way out of town i just randomly selected a goodwill off of the map and it was one that i went to like over a year ago that was really good and so i was very excited when i walked in and they had like remodeled and this one is on nicolette avenue in minneapolis I'm saying this for future reference for myself next time I go and can't find it. Um, but I got this Patagonia men's like fishing shirt. This is a medium. And when I went in some of the prices, I was like, oh, this is kind of high. And I texted Abby from Abby and Honey. And I was like, will you join the Minnesota Goodwill Rewards program for me and send me your discount code and then you can unsubscribe? Um, and she did, so I got 25% off of everything. And I only asked her because last week on my birthday, I sent her my KC Goodwill coupon. So I was like, I think she would do it. And I was like, I think she's also not super likely to go to Minnesota to go thrifting anytime soon. Um, so shout out to Abby, you saved me like $13. Next, this Wilfred Aritzia, just tie-dye tank top. That was like $3 after the discount. This Everlane sweater, wool sweater, size small. I was like, this is super cute. This was on the new rack. This Patagonia shirt, I was surprised. They, some stuff they had super marked up. This was only $5 and then I got 25% off. This is a women's medium. Maybe it is a men's. I'll have to take a look. I got this Nation black long sleeve top. Cute little buttons on the sleeve. This is a medium. And again, it was like $3. Oh, this Athleta, like camo, seamless top, super cute, medium. It's in great condition and it's like the new tag. And then finally, this Zara, like polka dot button down shirt. I had a shirt very similar to this, but in brown and I sold it. <laughs> so I may have to wear this a couple times. Um, so at that stop, I paid $37 for everything. Okay, that concludes my haul. Now I'm going to get all of this added to my inventory. I'm going to wash my bins items and hopefully get cranking away at some listing because this is kind of a lot. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Love you. Bye. I'm struggling.